Hi, this is Shri with a review of the Adidas ZX 2K Boost. They could have come up with a better name. 2K is easy to remember because it's uh, supposed to represent 2000, year 2000, like the 2K 14s or whatever NBA games that you have been, you may have played. Uh, it's it's a nice boost shoe. I would say this is uh, up there and probably top five in terms of um, real pure boost that you can feel in the shoe. Sometimes you feel all this level of amount of boost, but you don't really feel what's being visible there. Uh, next to I would say uh, uh, Ultra Boost, of course, is the signature dish of Adidas. They are they provide a very decent level of boost cushioning. Uh, response boost for me that's my personal favorite because you really can't feel the boost although there's minimum level of boost inside uh, in terms of basketball shoes I would say uh, crazy uh, crazy explosive has a good, good, good amount of boost really heavy uh, but they do have a tendency to have a uniform uh, level of density or thickness in terms of the boost so on the heel you feel the cushioning and the uh, crazy explosive but the heel sinks a little bit too much on the forefoot you feel a bit of a rigidity compared to the heel so that's a, a sad a deal breaker for me for, so for this one they actually showed what you can do differently with the boost to provide a definite level of a uh, difference in terms of cushioning and responsiveness on the two sides the forefoot and the heel but they misplaced one crucial step first of all on the heel they've covered up they've sealed it up with a, a soft rubbery polyurethane type of encasing so the boost level is uh, slightly thicker on the heel so there's a heel to toe drop which is good but on the heel they provide a level of stability and a little bit more of a rigidity and resistance on the heel so that should make the heel a little bit firmer than the forefoot right but they made a mistake of having these grooves or hollow points on the heel boost unit so what this does is it actually makes the boost a little bit uh, I guess uh, have more give have more areas to expand so the cushioning is a lot softer on the heel than on the forefoot even with this casing it's softer and on the forefoot they just have a plain old boost flat boost with none of these uh, um, hollow points if they were to add it just as much hollow points or if they reduce some of the hollow points on the heel that would have balanced things out a lot but once again this is not a a performer is not a running shoe it's designed for a casual wear lifestyle uh, but it's unfortunate because they use really good quality boost and really really nice level of boost that you can actually feel but the heel will be sinking a little bit too much compared to the forefoot the forefoot boost you can really feel it's one of the best forefoot boost cushioning you can have out there but again the heel sinks there's, there's a there's not a clear heel to toe drop rather a toe to heel drop so that's a little bit disappointing the fit go through the size uh it's very uh, stretchy and elastic all over these are pretty much a uh, one piece elastic spandex type of uh, knit material so it's pretty roomy and flexible you can feel your toes uh, bopping in and out there is a strategically placed fused material all around to provide some level of structure uh, but once again this is not going to provide that lockdown it's there's a lot of a stretchy material in the core uh, it weighs about it's pretty heavy about uh, close to 400 grams for a size 9 so that's definitely not good I mean it's definitely lighter than some boost basketball shoes but compared to the boost runners these fall a little bit to the heavier side on the heel they do have this interesting bit where you can actually poke this uh, this pull tab inside and you can pull it out and have it poking out which is fun if you go for that on the heel there's a very there is a, a visible heel cup but it's very flimsy and weak but it's better than nothing some uh, lifestyle shoes don't have anything in the heel uh, there is no uh, padding or uh, or some kind of uh, pillars around the ankle or the Achilles so you might feel a little bit of a heel slip if you're insecure about that level of lockdown here if you need that this is definitely not the shoe for you uh, I wish this was uh, pointing out a little bit like those elf shoe or elf nose or that kind of pattern you have in some of the Nike running shoes we have recently that's easier for the shoe to slide in because there is no rigidity here and uh, although this is a one piece of upper with a little bit of, of a give on the tongue it's still yeah you need to really hold this out well for you to put your foot in so I would love the shoe to be able to uh, to be able to let you just slide your foot in with ease and let, let you take it out especially this is since this is a lifestyle model 
uh, instead of a, a performer. The outsole is pretty re resistant and durable. Uh, on the heel, as you can tell, it's just solid rubber. So if you're actually thinking about going for a mild jog or you tend to slip around a lot while you're walking, you might want to carve some extra um, extra lines here to provide some level of uh, grippiness there. Four foot outsole is pretty good. I uh, wish they would have continued this pattern on the heel as well. Um, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, it. The insole is a very nice, soft, Ortholite insole. Adidas lifestyle shoes, they tend to have really good Ortholite insoles. I wish they would use this use this for their performers as well because the the carpeted material on top of the Ortholite insole is, is really soft and, and furry and it really hugs your foot nicely like a very uh, like if there's as if there's another layer of luxury material that velvety luxury material that hugs your foot and sucks it in and the Ortholite, although it's thin, as you can tell by these shiny little materials, it's it's a little different from your average, everyday, ordinary Ortholite insoles that you get in some performance wear. As thin as they may be, they are very soft and they work nicely with this boost setup. So let's have more of these in the Dames or the Dawn issues or, or the Hardens in the future instead of that lazy EVA insole they give you. So these are uh, uh, ZK uh, ZX2K Boost. They're selling for a pretty reasonable price. They're on sale, uh, cost less than 100 bucks. So a nice little grab if you like this uh, gradation pattern, which I love. And if you want a Boost you can feel, this is a good option for you.